Here's a little but very important tip I want to share with you if you ever have to remove the flywheel from these older Mercedes engines, particularly the older diesels. They have a very special bolt. It's a stretch bolt, but notice the head is very shallow, which means you don't have much of a socket that you can get on there. So if you plan to use just a normal socket like this, this is a 12 millimeter, you're going to have a problem. And I, I can speak from experience. First time I removed one of these, I stripped about three of these bolt heads. And let me tell you, once you strip one of these, it, it's really tough to get them out. So just heed this warning. This has too much of a bevel. Most of these sockets have a bevel so that when you put it on the head of these special stretch bolts, you're probably only catching about a sixteenth of an inch of the notches on that head, do you understand? So what I did very early on is I learned how to take a 12 millimeter, uh, 12 point socket, and it needs to be a one half inch drive because these are on with a lot of torque. And I grind this, I grind about a 16th of an inch off the end of the socket so I get a very sharp edge. And so when I put the socket on the bolt head like that, you see I'm getting a much better grip. So if you're going to do this job, get an extra 12 millimeter socket like this, half inch drive, and do this modification before you attempt to loosen up these bolts. The other thing I need to caution you about is do not use an impact wrench when removing these bolts. Uh, here's what happens when you do. If you can see the head of this bolt, what happens, the 12-point socket hammers against those notches and it will eventually kind of round them out. For some reason, these bolts right here do, do not like an impact wrench. So just avoid it all together. I mean, you can loosen them up with a big breaker bar and once they're loose, you can run them out with, with an air wrench. But hey, please don't use this, all right? To successfully remove these bolts, you're going to need that modified socket, a nice long half inch breaker bar like this one, and a tapered long punch. This is to secure the flywheel to keep it from rotating while you get the torque to these bolt heads. And let me tell you, they're on there very tight. You can put the punch through one of these lower holes in the torque converter flex plate and then rotate the engine counterclockwise, which is the correct direction, by the way, just rotate that until it comes up. Make sure that's in all the way and it's snug. Now, I've already lowered this down on the floor. You may have to have somebody hold the engine for you, but you can just get on this, get the leverage you need by pushing down. Hold your hand tight against the head of the breaker bar and then just give it a good snap. And then go around and do that to all these bolts. Once they're loose, then you can go ahead and get your air tool or your electric ratchet and spin them the rest of the way off. And just a bonus tip, if you do happen to round one of these off, the best way to get it out is to grind the head completely off. You're going to have to be very careful you don't cut into this big washer plate, but you have to carefully grind the head completely off, then you can remove the rest of the bolts, and once you get the flywheel off, you can get a hold of the, the bolt with a pair of vice grips and it'll just spin right out. So I hope you don't have to uh, resort to that. So I think if you follow these tips, I can guarantee you'll have success. Once again, if you do round out some of these bolt heads just, and damage them, you're going to have to grind them off. You have to grind the head completely off and then remove the flywheel to get the remaining part of the bolt out. If that should happen, you, you may need some parts. And we do carry these parts. I have some good used of these large washer rings available because it's very hard to grind the bolt off and not damage this. I also have a number of, of excellent used uh, stretch bolts for the flywheels on my website. I can, you can either purchase this as a complete set or individually. And I also, if you're having problems with this torque converter flex plate, these can crack. Um, I have these available. I also have good flywheels if you should happen to have a bad ring gear for the starter motor in your flywheel. It's just easier to go ahead 
and replace uh, the entire flywheel. So if you're, if you're working on your old diesel engine, I've got a lot of really good used parts. Some of these are no longer available. I can save you quite a bit of money by going used when you're replacing damaged parts on these old diesel engines.